Oh, uh, sorry, Steve, to cut you off there. You know, anyway. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the episode of a gaming podcast, episode fifty-seven. The where where's everyone's burgers? What's going on here? I Sammy had hers burgers. earlier. I, there's no. It's not available. The Uber Eats or whatever. Uh, I can't get the crap. You got Krabby Patty? I uh, yeah. You but got no it. Box. Yeah. See, I don't know. I have so many words to the Wendy's marketing department. There's no box. There's nothing. This looks like Brothers? a regular burger. I'm not going to lie. Really? That's basically like I, I'm gonna, I'm searching. Uh, okay. Here's the thing. I, I, I come up with Wendy's is the first thing when you search for Krabby. Yeah, but, but it's I, not there. But when I pull it up. Yeah, it's like, oh, wait, limited time offers. The regular. Oh, limited time offers. The Krabby Patty. Oh, oh it's it right there. <laughs> So, this is a regular burger. So basically, so the sauce, it's just, they just like added like three times <laughs> the black pepper. That's all. Pineapple oh, under the sea frosty? Minute. Fuck yes. Okay, I'm going please, there right now. Yeah, yeah. Please like, try the frosty. Oh, Camille is there. I just saw a chair and that was it. I'm <laughs> like, like, Camille, Camille just left. <laughs> no. All right, I started right, what, do, what, do I, what do I order with it? Like, uh, you gotta so, get the. It's the, the patty and stick, the frosty. Right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't get the pineapple under the sea. Do you get? Oh. Do, should I get like ketchup or whatever? Because it doesn't apparently doesn't come with ketchup at all. <laughs> it just comes with the sauce, just the the it's special the sauce. sauce. Uh, oh, it's basically it's mayo. Oh it's yeah, no, mayo. that's right. Secret Krabby Patty sauce. Oh, son yeah. of a bitch, they're not even gonna give us that. Okay, <laughs> it's literally just like yeah, mayo, it was a box. ketchup, and like extra black pepper. Wait, so did you get the box, Marcel? Nope. Oh. I think they lied to us. All right, I'm, I'm, I think there's only gonna, five boxes. I'm gonna get it, uh, but I'm also gonna get the pineapple frosty because I want to try that. I'm so sad I didn't get that because I feel like it would have enhanced my experience because I was just disappointed. I did see someone drink that, and it looked pretty foamy to me. <laughs> Medium pineapple frosty. It's I mean, it is just like a smoothie essentially. Wait, you can yeah. add a pineapple puree? That's mm -hmm. one of the options. Interesting. Should I get so the pineapple what? puree, or should I just go straight with the pineapple? I think you should frosty? go all out. Don't forget to all right. treat yourself. Is different than the frosty. Don't forget to expense it. Apparently, the puree is an, <laughs> is an add on. Mm. All right. I'm going to order it. And it's going to come in like about like 15 minutes, too, because it's pretty close. Camille, <laughs> yeah, are you We're smoking? Saying, yeah, <laughs> like, since when? Yeah, are you smoking? This is where are you smoking? This is the time of year where I. <laughs> hey. The I, remember I, used, I love get, Popeye. I used to for that. That's my favorite. That's, yeah. This is what I did as a kid. I'd be like, well, I said as a kid as well. Hell yeah. And I'd be like, yeah. so sophisticated. Yeah. Cool. I remember and I did that in the, during recess, and like it was cold outside. So you're like, if you blow and like, you, like the in the cold air, kind of like I'm smoking. Yeah. yeah. We have like, we bought Halloween candy in advance to give out. We don't have a lot of kids that live in eat it all. a lot of seniors, but mm -hmm. we always eat it all in these. I'm oh, on yeah. like five packs already for the day, guys. I like you buying events to eat it. Oh yeah. Yes, for them kids. Halloween's about us, all right? All right, no all right, kids, we ate it all. No Halloween fun at this house. <laughs> it's all right. Order five has packs been sent. Deep on Popeye's candy sticks. Mm. Order menu. has been sent. It'll be here in about twenty minutes. Beautiful. Nice. Well, besides, We're gonna get a mid podcast review from you. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't it was gonna be available. It said it wasn't available around like lunchtime, so I guess they could just add it for dinner or whatever. I don't taste the difference. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's the pineapple frosty that I'm curious about because yeah, yeah, I haven't had that one. We get a frosty review. We get a review on that, but the burger. I mean, that's, yeah. It's just basically a Wendy burger. It's Another literally burger. a Dave single, just that's with like yeah. different oh, sauce. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that's all it okay. is. Uh, besides that, Steve, what's uh, what's going on? Uh, you know, it's been, uh, it, it's been an interesting, uh, week I've started. Um, so I, on, on like, so I have a Patreon, um, uh, patreon.com slash Steve Saylor. I was and say it for you if you didn't. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, it, on, like starting back in January, I've been doing this weekly morning show, uh, essentially mm -hmm. called morning coffee with Steve. And it's basically where I go over gaming news, accessibility news, and, or just updates about my life, depending on, on the day, if it's a slow news day. Uh, mm -hmm. and I've been doing it literally every weekday since January. And I decided to, I've always done a video version and it was always an audio version on my uh, Patreon, but I decided to kind of do the video version up on YouTube. And I've been doing it for pretty much about a week now, week and a half. 
and it's been actually doing pretty good. I'm kind of happy with uh with like people seem to respond pretty well to it, which has been nice. And uh uh yeah, I just been lo- loving that. I also got early access or at least early a uh, early sneak peek at the accessibility in Dragon Age the Veilguard. Uh, oh, I saw that. Early. Yeah. The list of features for accessibility and uh i made a video about that that went up uh the uh well yeah as of this record yeah went up yesterday uh as when this podcast goes out um so awesome. um yeah i've been a little busy and then i'm prepping for doing a lot of travel this month it's a lot of it for work so yeah, yeah, I, I thought you were away this weekend i was like what do you, you mean you're here for no, this episode, next, next week is when the travel starts because i leave um... like after so i leave the uh yeah i leave basically the end of next week and then I uh, and then I kind of like I'm traveling pretty much every week since. Are you back Damn. in Halloween? Uh, ooh, good question. Yes, yes, I will be. Yeah. I'll send well, you a pack of Popeyes then. <gasps> I don't. Really? I don't think. I love you so much. You would have. You will have I any not have any more. Right? I don't have any more to be honest. Oh, I don't I feel like, I'm like a different person with this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you, you get like a different personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is how it was. I was a very dramatic kid. This you come here now often. Now throughout, whole, now throughout the rest of the podcast, <laughs> you just your voice just needs to start getting like yeah. coarser and deeper raspier. and deeper. Yeah, I yeah. Start brooding more. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or no, you know what? You know what you need to do right now. You need to basically turn your camera into black and white. Uh, that it, it needs that Ooh. noir vibe. You need noir yes. vibes, yeah. You know, the noir? over in this in a ceiling fan, you know, in the blinds, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, Sammy, how about yourself? What's going on? Doing good, doing good. What have I been doing? I've playing, been playing a lot of Phasmo doing. now that we're in like spooky season. Ooh, Ooh I've been wondering how that. Uh, oh, how that is because like the new. I've seen the new update and I'm like, I kind of like. I've never played it, but I'm like, ooh, I really kind of maybe want to jump in. It's interesting. It's like it's definitely more grindy than the original Phasmophobia, which I I see why they did that. So there is a lot of replayability about it, um, but. It's really, I'm at the level where it's just like, okay, yeah, I don't have any any evidence, but like, how is the ghost behaving? What does it look Mm. like during a hunt? It's like the, I'm at like the psychological level. So now we just have to keep making it more and more interesting. People people stop playing Phasmophobia with me. I I used to bully the ghosts. Like I used to like (laughs) run in there and yell at him like, come get me right now. You're, stop hiding, you bastard. And I start chasing him down and then people are like, you were, what the hell are you doing? You just keep aggroing him. I'm like, well, he's a jerk anyway. I hate this. So, you know? so actually, fun, fun bit of uh, news. Like, speaking of that, uh, I'll be actually doing essentially f- uh, a Phasmo for real uh, beginning of November. Uh, I'm going on a ghost investigation. Uh, I think actually Steve is going to this as well. Uh, he's going to be coming with. Um, but uh, essentially, what we're also going to be doing, which I'm kind of really excited for. So, we're doing a ghost investigation in Virginia. At an actual haunted house, but I would not go. I, I <laughs> hate you. That, that's too, that, that honestly, I understand. Um, I would go, but I feel like I'll bring something back with me. So don't bring see, anything. That's, back. that's the fear. Yeah. We do. We are respectful. The people that, like my, it's my best friend who does the ghost investigation. He, he he's really respectful of the places that we go to. He, he doesn't provoke ghosts. Not like stupid douchebaggins. Um, mm. But uh, <laughs> so I don't like the sound but, of this. Mm-hmm. So, but we are going to be and i'm really excited for this uh i've got the dungeons and disabled crew coming with me Ooh. and we're going to be oh. recording a dungeons and dragons one shot in an actual haunted house dude that's Damn. so sick yeah that's gonna be really really and cool. we're gonna incorporate the ghost investigation into it too where it's like whatever's happening in the house the like I, I i'm gonna let everyone basically like mention it like talk about tell it out loud whatever's happening and then i'm going to incorporate it into the story for the for the players so uh yeah it's it, as far as i know i don't think anyone has ever done a dnd one shot show in a haunted house before so i'm excited I'd be the first and the last. Nice knowing you, Steve. Like you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe the reason why. Camille, you better keep your Popeye sticks because. <laughs> <I know>. you know. <laughs> also, can we ban the two Steves after they come back from this trip? I don't want them to bring any ghosts on the podcast. I don't know. Like I, I would like to come back. To come back. <laughs> I, just, like, I mean, that... we just need time for the ghost to like find something else to do. Yeah, you guys can come back in November. Water. Yeah, It'll be yeah. Fine. <laughs> it's a, ah, it's a <laughs> oh god <laughs> Camille, what's going on that yeah. flight back i'd be so paranoid i can't do that Are you fly, you're in virginia right doing this yeah we're yeah yeah 
So yeah, I wouldn't be able to fly back either. I, I'd just die. I'd just die after that. I mean, hey, it, it, you, ne you never know what's going to happen. Uh, I I am also hopeful that I don't bring anything back. It's going to be a movie. This could be a movie about this, like two years from now. I know. <laughs> Gosh, I but you heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it. Yeah. Oh, we read this script. I know what happens. <laughs> this. <laughs> Give me all about yourself besides all the Popeyes. We got there. Uh, well. I've been thinking a lot about life. Uh, no, um, I've been actually streaming. Weird. I saw that. Nice. Yeah. So weird. Yeah. So I've been streaming Echoes of Wisdom just because um, I was like, oh, I might as well. Like, I want to play it, but I want to capture my gameplay. And every time I capture gameplay, I'm just always like, I should be streaming this. So I decided to actually stream it. Um, but like, I'm not really advertising that i'm streaming on like social media because like i don't know I do that too. i'll be with this mm -hmm. um so we'll, we're just playing it as we go and then i'm also pa packing for iceland hell yeah well, oh yeah, yeah. What you that's right are you uh, sorry play? what are you doing in iceland just existing oh, oh, nice. oh cool <laughs> <laughs> just existing I don't know. Is, it, is it weird that the default I go to whenever it's I work? like hear one of us is traveling? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not weird. It's not weird. It's, okay. Yeah, it's, this, this is actually one of the rare occasions where I'm actually taking a vacation outside of work and we're driving around the whole island. Um, so it's going nice. to be really fun. I'm going to be able to step foot in the Arctic Circle. Um, mm. Which is really very cool. cool. I'm, I'm excited. I'm so I excited. think she's lying. I think she's going to see the Switch too. That's what it is. Switch no, too. I knew it. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. It's not the Switch too, but I am gonna be going there to film some scenes for Death Stranding too. All right, I said. Oh, oh there it is. Oh. I knew it. I knew it was her work thing. Okay. I forgot to mention. Did you unofficially down there? Like, like sunset, like sunset for like? Because I know it's like they go for like six months or whatever or something like that. Yeah, it's autumn there right now. So it's not okay. like one of those long, long periods of no did you, sun, but it is longer. Did you get? And did you get the Death Stranding jacket? I want that jacket. <laughs> oh, that so jacket bad. looks so fifteen hundred dollar like, jacket. Is it really? Yeah. US. Oh, fifteen hundred US. Either. Yeah. I really want that jacket, but I'm not rich. That's so. a. Does Does you actually feel warm in it? Like I don't. I don't like, care. <laughs> I feel like an, like that's the only thing I would want to follow me, the essence of Hideo Kojima through the jacket <laughs> if I bought it. Oh, my God. Camille, what did you think about the whole thing? You weren't here for oh, the yeah, last that's time. Right. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'll just, just get your quick little re uh, well, summary. I, mean, I don't speak Japanese, so it's a very different perspective because it was all in Japanese when you're watching it. They had oh, well, it was not great was, English. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. It was just like auto generate. It wasn't like there was. There, I thought what? Well. What I no. I heard English audio though. There was at some points, but yeah, most okay. of the show was in Japanese. Unless I was watching the Japanese stream, which I think you may have been watching the very Japanese. Very possible as well. <laughs> I, I heard English. I also, had it, I also had it in the background while I was doing like cleaning and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because that's what the weekends are for. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but no, I, I enjoyed it. Like that photo mode, it is so cool. I photo mode, that's part, that's mean. next level photo mode. Yeah. It is next level. Like I, I don't, I don't want to give away my. I, I'm thinking of starting an Instagram account with just that photo mode for Death Stranding. I said it first. If that actually happens, I gave the now idea Now you can here. sue. I know. I sue. Who are you going to sue? Kojima? It's his photo mode. <laughs> no, but I want to start a photo, like an Instagram account that's just like when the game comes out, just documenting things through photo mode, like a persona in Death Stranding. Like that is now what I aspire to do, be it like a Death Stranding 2 influencer. With mm. just like behind the scenes, like I am a character from Dust Training, so I'm gonna make it happen. Huh. You're like, right, oh, you're right. so weird. I'm no, I, hey, that's hey, that's you do you at the end of the day. <laughs> I, I will I will support all your projects. It's good, but you didn't deny you know? it. I I just have no comment. <laughs> not, I got no comment. You know, I'm just here support. I'm here supporting the same way everyone should be uh, supporting Halo Studios. What did uh, what did everyone mm. think of the new? Rebranding Unreal Engine Five uh, transition. I mean, it just are we happy about it? It makes sense. 
<laughs> it totally makes well, sense. Yeah, it a hundred percent makes sense. I think like it's they're going to be a lot more successful with this engine than than the previous one. The only thing I feel bad is like I think we talked about it off podcast a little bit. Just like the resources that they yeah. put into their engine to now just be like, see ya. I must say things did look like it looked good. I must say, yeah, from, from, what, from what I saw and everything. But like, is it all complete? Like, just like. Are they looking for people as well? Because it sounded like they were doing like a yes. call out in that video as well. So like some people left three four three, and like they just completely well, rebranded or is like a, is a or, is or a weird term. Word. <laughs> All right, or what? Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. More yeah. like uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, you're not in this video. What do you mean? You'll find out. You know. Yeah, but no, I, 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 they are looking for developers, uh, which honestly I think this works out much better because. The fact that like the slipstream engine was not working and not not a lot of studios, if any, I don't think other than three four three was was using that engine um, to work on anything. So the fact that it is in Unreal Engine five and it also kind of being somewhat compatible with back like at least previous versions of Unreal, basically any Unreal developer can be able to go join now Halo Studios. So mm -hmm. oh. oh. We'll never know. Uh, we'll so, never know. He's no, glad. He said too he much. Like he, said he, were, he said too much. You said what too happened? much. What happened? You, I you, you laughed. I, I don't do know. Anything. I didn't do anything. I, I was in the middle of talking. I had no, I, my hands were right here the oh, whole time. Man. I did not do anything. That's, I, I that's see how it is. I see how it is. All right, fine. Okay. No. I was saying, it, it's, it's the it's ghost. You see? It's already happening. It's starting already. Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking three four three uh no oh it's gonna, my god it, it, basically it's gonna open up uh to uh to a lot more talent like a lot of more talent can be able to come to work at halo uh because it's it now working on unreal engine 5 plus also there's gonna be a lot of internal uh sharing of resources too now that the coalition and um and uh and, and, and ninja theory is also working on unreal engine 5 it's I think it just me it's gonna mean that we're gonna get hopefully uh more like not only games more frequently but good games uh in the halo uh universe which which mm -hmm. that that's the thing that kind of interests me is that they're looking on uh, or into mo multiple projects which could mean that that battle royale game that we thought was kind of canceled could potentially be happening uh yeah. now that they're on unreal engine 5. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just cool, like, we get an update on what's happening with Halo, like, we're in this low period of, like, okay, what is next for, like, these major companies, what is next for, like, their major IPs, and now getting that update, especially seeing what's happening on the Halo side, um, and what this potentially could mean for Xbox and future releases, I think it, they, it would be such a missed opportunity to not explore that Battle Royale again, and to not see if they can make it happen because they're putting so many resources into what Halo will be in the future. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, I think it's hard to predict whether it will be a success or not. And, you know, maybe it is us thinking a Battle Royale model still works. Like, who knows? Like, if the Battle yeah. Royale model still works nowadays with leading Battle Royales that just ha are, like, mid-legacy for these some of these titles, right? So... Yeah, could you could you see them do like uh I know this happened so many times, but like the first Halo, like just done in Unreal Engine Five, combat involved. I mean, I think like people would be interested in it. I, I I feel like the thing with Halo, like you're always going to have those dedicated fans, and that's cool. I think what Halo needs is being able to drive in really that PC audience and be able to have like new a new following and reach to a generation that maybe has not been able to speak to the Halo experience that we grew up with. I actually heard uh, uh, I can't remember if it was uh, Paris or or Snowbike Mike that that mentioned this <laughs> when they talked about this news. But the the idea of yeah like of would they remaster Halo Combat Evolved into Unreal Engine Five? Um, and the, the, the potential, the potential idea of it being like multi-platform being released on Nintendo on like PlayStation or whichever came up, but I really love the idea. I think it might've been either. Yeah. I can't remember if it was Paris or, or Mike, but them suggesting the idea of, yeah, they do Halo combat evolve, but they have a twist in there. 
that changes the story a little bit. And then that kind of sets them up to basically building up a brand new Halo mm. set of game, like Halo uh, story and Halo universe. And I'm like, huh, I'm kind of on board with that idea. I mean, no yeah. one's ever done that. I feel like that is like, Steve, I think like that would be a brilliant idea. But we are open minded Halo fans. True. There are a lot of non open minded Halo fans. You know, yeah. you're right. Halo That's true. Yeah. Fire, and yeah. I feel like for Halo specifically, given how Halo Infinite performed and what everyone hoped it would be, and then the drop off there, they need to be able to tie in what has already been established for Halo and capture the audience and, like, whether it is an experience banded story in that universe with the lore that is already established um and that's why kind of like i don't want them to go the remake way of things mm. but then again you could also get like diehard fans upset because they're like oh this mechanics changed or you know they could look more at the gameplay so i feel like there it's it's very hard i think these days uh, to win people over with an ip when you know you have things like twitter that just is filled with trolls trying to burn everything. Yeah. True. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. But I, yeah. I hope that they find like some sort of success with this. Like, does I this mean, give you hope do... for the upcoming Halo? Does this like, excite you for it? Like, I mean, I hope they use more creativity than they did to name the studio, but you know, I'm excited. <laughs> you know, it makes sense. I mean, it, makes, it makes sense. And they could have, yeah. it could have been, they could have done something a little cooler than just Halo Studio. Master Chiefs. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> or maybe it says, it says three four three one one seven, yeah. which oh could have been fun. But yeah. uh, and uh, you know, uh, like I, it's ugh. okay. So the thing is, right? Um, when studios name themselves off of like one IP, it also is very limit. I feel like that's also very limiting. Like Absolutely. there are certain things I feel like devs could be exploring with especially a new engine that may just not fit in the world of halo and yeah you know um they sh they can decide to pass it along to another studio that it could work better with but like i i think it like kind of stumps creativity um and like it puts everything in this one basket as well like if the next halo doesn't perform what happens to this studio um and they're screwed because <laughs> yeah, like and, X and, and, Xbox and, is Halo, I feel like you know. Then if it's all Halo, then you're like, well, we're we're done now, folks. Yeah, and then <laughs> to that point, right? Then it, maybe it's just a you know Xbox saying like they will never like give up Halo kind of yeah. thing. Um, but it's just like very fall. I feel like it's just a weird, like not a weird decision. It makes sense, but it's just like could be risky if the next game does not perform as you hope like this could be the yeah. thing where it's like they're telling shareholders like okay we have this new studio it's focusing on halo it's gonna bring back like the good IP days yeah. that mm -hmm. like made xbox what xbox is and if it doesn't it's like mm, now what's what? gonna happen yeah, right. like yeah. are we setting are the devs being set up for potential failure like you know so I don't want to read too much into it because we're so early on in this. Yeah. Season. It is hopeful that right. like they are, if you're a Halo fan, like they are putting resources there. We're going to see more of Halo, maybe more than just one game or different versions of like how Halo looks. I'm thinking everything like will be like, maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they do a bunch of different types of Halo stuff. Ooh. Um, yeah because uh yeah it, it would just and like maybe it's not all, all on xbox maybe they explore mobile um well, well I'll, that's why i was mentioning like like uh, i was going to mention do you think the reason why they moved to unreal 5 is to not only to bring the pc a lot smoother but maybe like a playstation mobile because unreal is just so friendly to many platforms True. i think that's the I, whole reason possible yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's definitely for that PC integration as well, like to move it to Unreal, whether PlayStation um, or like other platforms. If we see that in the future, I, I don't know. Like it just depends on the state of Xbox at that point, what their plan is in the console game, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's it, it's interesting too, because like they're re in, in essence, if you think about it, they're kind of going back, like Xbox is kind of, in the past the past two years they've been kind of going back to their roots um obviously like we've got like fable 
which is very early like xbox game um we've got also gears a new mm-hmm. gears game literally kind of going back to the, uh to the beginning again and now we're gonna get basically halo again I, so i think mm-hmm. in essence they're kind of yeah they're going back to what what was what 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 made xbox xbox and it might be the the, the a really interesting strategy to look into like hey this works like yeah it's a bit of nostalgia uh dipping like and people might accuse them of 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 doing that just because it's the you know it's the surefire thing that's going to get people interested in playing the games again but this might be the kind of like one of the better moves for xbox to make because everyone keeps saying like hey the xbox was better in the 360 days and uh and we want those days back well or we're gonna get those days back and uh and I think that the, like seeing the fact that their two biggest franchises or biggest IPs that has been exclusive to Xbox for so long, which is uh, Halo and Gears, and they're both using Unreal Engine 5, mm-hmm. I think that this could mean a lot more than just the surface of, uh, of oh, we're just using this newer engine. Yeah. Anyway, but also uh, rest in peace to to the, to this photo. Oh man! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, I got one there too, actually. Yeah. 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 If yeah. anything, it's gonna be more valuable. Yeah. More valuable True. now. You can frame True. it. And be like more, that was there before. Established for that, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. And, and, the, and that's the thing too. Like, if they're going to be using this engine for other IPs within Xbox Studios, is gonna be big. Like, I I think like. It, it, that may be the play, right? It's not necessarily putting all their eggs in Halo's basket, but it is really in the engine itself and um, seeing what other studios could do with this engine. But it's yeah. like, I'm in this weird state. <laughs> anyway, keep going. <laughs> go on. No, no, what, what, what go ahead. Saying? Yeah, you know, what's, it's a weird no, state. No. <laughs> like, so I've just been consuming a lot of Popeye sticks. Um, <laughs> and like, I was just watching, like, anyways, I'm not going to go into the backstory, but <laughs> what it got me thinking about is the fact with Netflix specifically, you know, their animation style for all their shows look exactly the same. And I'm kind of peeved that they're doing that for the Tomb Raider show as well. Mm. Like, I hope Xbox, and I feel like they are not the studio to do this, where if they have a new engine, they like kind of push that agenda onto their other studios and games just start looking like they're like too unreal like too mm. much in unreal oh um, fair you know that's a fair but fair i thing don't statement, think yeah. like given their their catalog their back catalog of games within xbox studios and the games that they do push they do have very distinct styles and they look different so i don't mm-hmm. think that's the case i'm just 10 years ahead if it is fair enough way too in advance. no that's fair. So, that's fair i just so, want a really good new ip as well like that, I think that's kind of like why I'm like, eh, why does it have to be called Halo Studios, right? That's like, where I think that's where like something like Sons of Midnight uh, or South of Midnight, Sons of, South, South of Midnight, of Midnight. Uh, South of Midnight. Where that's yeah. gonna come yeah. in because I feel like it's stuff like that. Like I, I, they've got a few like unique stuff that is that is being worked on. That I'd be very curious to see if like if that's gonna be a, a, if any of those are gonna pop um, in, in the industry because I, I, mm-hmm. I as much as. As much as like I, I, I am gonna, uh, I am excited to play Indiana Jones. I don't think that's gonna be as big of a game as people uh, as Xbox may be expecting it to. I don't think they know. I don't think they expect it to be a big game anymore. Like I think yeah. they probably like they're looking at other studios as well, and I think um, they're probably seeing like the releases of, you know, you had rebirth this year, you have, uh, star Wars outlaws from these other studios and they're seeing that it's not performing at that level that those studios hoped. And honestly, I think as the industry thought they would as well. Right. So I think a lot of studios, not just Xbox is probably looking at the climate of, you know, how games are selling this year and hopefully kind of pulling back their expectations you think um, that's why they they made that ps that playstation announcement so quickly then like maybe which, which play oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah for in for indie yeah. yeah 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 probably yeah probably um but yeah I, I i think they're pulling back those expectations and they're probably like okay like the play was an indiana Jones. Yeah, I have a feeling that this might be like a swimming in sevens uh as as the saying goes uh when it regards to reviews um and that's that may not necessarily be a bad thing. I I do have hopes that that the indie game will actually be will be fun to play. But I can definitely just the way yeah. that like unless they they're able to mark like put out or market it in a way that 
that like that really kind of shows off more than just oh yes it is cool to punch a nazi 100 percent, and they nailed that in the in that first trailer that they that they uh that they released but uh, it's it, it, it it's they have yet to be able to sell anybody on it and yeah. even with the previews that they've already done i mean marcel you you saw the preview of it didn't you yeah yeah and, yeah. and were you, like what were your what were your thoughts again oh like is this, this uh it didn't like wow i can't wait to play this game just like oh that's cool like type of yeah. type of type of vibes like i'm not overly ecstatic like i'm willing to i'm um, i want to try it out obviously but i'm not like well i can't wait for this one like, I, I didn't it didn't have the same hype levels that i got for it with dragon ball sparking zero that came yeah. out today i'm like well i can't wait to play like super excited for that game i don't have that same feeling for indie like if, if indie yeah. was, if indie was to be delayed i'd be like okay i'm yeah. all right with that you know? yeah. <laughs> because we have like such a a like long well okay like i don't know your backstory with like the the franchise the ip of indiana mm-hmm. jones but do you think it's like maybe our generation isn't as connected to indiana jones or do you think it's because the game's not third person I mean, there's definitely an aspect to, like, we got the worst one in our generation, unfortunately. True. But I, I I think we're still, at least the millennials are still old enough to remember, like, the good age of Indiana yeah. Jones. But I think we're also at just a period in the gaming industry where people are, we may love the IP, but, like, that's not the biggest sell anymore. It's so not I think yeah. anymore. Because yeah. we've already, it's like, it's like, we've, it's the saying is, like, well, we've already got like we've already got Uncharted at home. Like it's yeah, uh, yeah. and we, like we've had or Tomb, Tomb Raider, Raider game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we've had all these games that basically take like take on the motif of Indiana Jones, uh, whereas like Indiana Jones kind of was the I guess, I don't, I don't want to say the progenitor because even then George Lucas has said like he he wanted to kind of like it's it sort of based off of the 1930s like ad- adventure serials from uh, from back in the day. Like that's how that like in the Indiana Jones was based off of. So it's sort of based off of his father's generation, essentially, or hit like uh, of uh, sub stuff. So, but yeah. it hit at a perfect time in the industry or in the film industry that people were really interested in 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 Indiana Jones or at least that adventure sort of uh, story. Whereas now it's like because we basically have a ton of adventure stories already. Um, it's and and and, and, it, and even success like really successful ones, even if you count the the latest Tomb Raider t- uh, trilogy. It's going to be it's a difficult sell um and and you're right i think we've because we've had the worst one in our generation um mm-hmm. and even the latest one is like yeah it's okay but i mean I, I, for me i always will say like uh last crusade is my favorite because that's the one that's the first one i watched as a kid and that's the one i grew yeah. up with uh, i yeah. didn't even realize that the uh Ra- like raiders of lost ark was even the, the i thought the last crusade was the first one uh i didn't even realize that there was actually two more before that so um yeah it, it's it's it, again it's like i i like there, i don't know what they could do to be able to sell me on it unless there's like a ton of accessibility then i'll be interested but uh i don't know i'm just like because yeah. it's it's it, it, it and it's also in that december time slot where the only i think it's there really for a reason <laughs> well was cyberpunk but even then when that launched it was more it, like obviously we saw the launch of that and how bad that was so yeah I don't know if it's like this is Xbox kind of like, you know what? Okay, we're putting this out into December just to kind of put it out there and and kind of slowly like slip it through. And then, oh, then we're going to now start promoting the rest of that now 2025 games. But I don't know. It just it's it's interesting to see this kind of version of Xbox like going into the end of 2024 and then jumping into 2025 with also this Halo news going back to that. It seems as if that they're just trying to kind of wa- like wash away 2024 to a certain yeah. degree and let their third party stuff like the Activision, the Blizzard, because they're killing it right now. Like Diablo 4, I've heard many great things of their vessel, their, their vessel of hatred right now. Uh, I've also I've heard uh, like uh, many good things about the about the star uh, about Starfields, the shattered uh, shattered space. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Shattered yeah. space. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that that expansion plus also Call of Duty like Black Ops Six is coming up the end of the month. Next like they're relying week, on their, as well, right? <laughs> oh, it's the 25th. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah, by two weeks. Um, yeah. but uh, it's like it's all like they're relying on those uh, uh, games specifically in their their portfolio instead of their actual like Xbox ones, yeah, to kind of get them through the rest of 2024. Because I think there was a story that I read, I can't remember if we talked about it on this show, but there was like a story that essentially the their it was their financials that they were 42% ahead of their previous year financials. 
um but it was mostly because of the games from uh, from activision blizzard king uh and if it wasn't for that acquisition that they had their they would only have increased by like five percent uh financials so it's th- that's what's carrying them this year essentially yeah they got some like heavy like they got a valve coming out Fable's supposed to be coming out as well oh my God, i can't wait yeah, that that like I said. Oh, we haven't seen any gameplay. Fantasy. Like we haven't game seen Wars. like actual. I haven't seen Wars. a gameplay of. We have to see it then. Yeah, of which? Of, of Fable. Fable, we had to see actual yeah. gameplay. What we saw was just cinematics. Or, 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 or did it, no, like, we saw was, a tiny bit of gameplay. The, but he's not finding a lot, the giant, though. I guess. When he's finding yeah. the giant, we, we yeah. saw a tiny bit of gameplay at, at the showcase this year, but not yeah. a heck of a lot. And and it could be basically. Show like they they could have said like oh no that's just pre rendered whatever it's not in like in, I don't know they it's may not, have said intended in, in, in gameplay actual I think it was gameplay no. yeah it was stupid but, gameplay when she was but, moving around yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it so, was like a mix a of bit. rendered and gameplay but I think yeah we'll probably like the game awards I, I think Xbox realizes oh, the right value it mm-hmm. kind of needs the value his Wendy's this year um, Wendy's there of, yeah <laughs> of the game awards yeah so I feel like during the game awards we're probably gonna get like the big what's next like yeah like world premiere that was Xbox, yeah. um specifically so i'm excited about that and that's all yeah. i'm excited about and you know what honestly indiana jones could also come through and be like this it could be like a great like wow that was actually a great story like that was crazy yeah. you know yeah, yeah. Like, it could come through have some really great puzzles and stuff like that um i just prefer i think i would have wanted that experience because it's like an iconic ip with an iconic character mm-hmm. for it to be third person i think that probably would have hit um a bit more for people but yeah. it's not out yet, so we don't know. Oh, that's hit. true. I, I just feel like ending like like we since we like we're we're lucky enough to have, like experience Uncharted and Tomb Raiders and yeah. other, and other games like that. Like I just feel like oh like well, Indy, you're kind of late to the party, even though like we dedicated this party to you. Yeah. We, we dedicated this party <laughs> to you years ago. And you now show up like type of thing. Like I don't. Yeah. Indy didn't really like. I feel like if it, if it was if it was like when Indy movies movies were still happening. Like like on a frequent basis in a way that I that maybe that I'd be like okay oh this is cool we're getting like our own indie adventure in a way so or maybe these are just ways of keeping the indie franchise alive now just keep making video games through it. I think that was like they're also their idea as well um, but when do you think an, uh the Halo game is to come out I don't think we see that till end of next year like see yeah anything yeah. see anything next year so you say like twenty twenty six. I don't know if it'll come out 2026, but I think we'll see, like... Because they, they've been doing this for... this Like, they didn't just switch over to Unreal now. It's, they were yeah. This is two years now. And then they're like, let's just announce it. Yeah, true. So they already, they already have two years, like, done. I mean, I think we would see an announcement, like, fall next year of some, what's coming up next without a release date. And mm-hmm. if anything, if they want to be a little cheeky about it, then you know 2026 early 2026 we get a release date and it's like later in that year yeah um but it also could be a situation where they need this like they need to stir up that halo hype they need yeah. something and if if they were i didn't even know the world championship was this week like that yeah 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 sports halo esports has been going on behind the scenes very yeah but like i didn't see any announcements from like the xbox team or anything but they don't halo halo uh championships like they've always done separate like it's never with like the xbox so weird still on twitch (laughs) like on the xbox channel on twitch yeah yeah, yeah. um, streamed live right it's just that's the crazy world of why would you not you know, promote e-sports. that but that's just how esports works esports usually isn't promoted on like the main channel especially with this or- announcement because this kind of it seemed like it was like a Shh, don't tell anyone this but here's the video. i don't think it was exclusive <laughs> to to the to the thing it was just more of like this is where we're making the announcement yeah and i, I think it's two different audiences right like i was like wouldn't you bring that awareness no. to like other people outside of that though you'd be like hey you might want to tune into this no because like the I, I still even though how big esports is to this day and like sammy i know you consume a lot of esports as well it is a completely different audience mm-hmm. than it is for like 
the gamers that are probably going to be listening to podcasts like this about gaming news that play more in the traditional sense than in competitive sense. It, it's like since working in esports, it's always been that way. Like you never have like the big brands like announcing tournaments only in the FGC. You'll see that. Um, but even outside of that, you don't. And even like that goes with one of the biggest that I could think of Call of Duty, right? Like you yeah. still don't really see that cross promotion. Even you look at something like Fortnite, maybe the early days when they were really using that influencer streamer power, um, when they would have like the Pan Am with all of the uh, top streamers with celebrities playing in a competitive quote setting unquote setting um but you really don't see that crossover because it's it's a different ecosystem completely and that's mm -hmm. why they have like esports accounts for those brands yeah, yeah. like i don't expect them to announce that. every event but i just like you know with They'll never, something like this never like be like oh like we're making a, a grand shift you would have been like you would have thought they were like Hey, you know, you cover press news. You might want to tune into this at the end or something like that. Like, no, even like Worlds for League of Legends, like Worlds is happening pretty soon, and like no nothing on the main channel. Yeah, because like, nothing's coming off for League of Legends except for like a seven hundred dollars skin. <laughs> and it's only four hundred dollars. Oh, only four. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Like, I mean, discounted you price. <laughs> you could you could buy the same figurine for half the price too, and oh, have that's a just... physical. <laughs> That's, and then you know, and the game goes away. So there's your four hundred dollars gone. Wow, that's wild. Great. Well, anyway, so um, Steve, what's the what's the review here? Yeah, I need the verdict review. so far. Burger, you're right. It's like there's nothing much to it. The sauce is kind mm -hmm. of like, I, I, it, it kind of almost is like a cross between like a Big Mac sauce and mayo. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, really? for Wendy's, it's pretty good. I haven't tried the the the, fro the frosty yet. Although, if you notice. A lot of the pineapple stuff is kind of already. What the, the hell's bottom. at the bottom? What the hell? <laughs> yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna try I think this. You gotta mix that. You gotta mix that now. Yeah, yeah. Stir that. I don't know how to without making a mess. <laughs> anyway, all right. Try. I feel like that Here we go. Like a topping on the top. Yeah, or like mixed in throughout, and like something. Oh, like that. he, he. That's a. You know, that you know, seems like a, uh, a happy face there. It looks so. Oh my gosh! I have to go and get one after this. You know that, what? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's basically a, it's like it's like having like a, van, a vanilla frosty, but with a with a pineapple flavor. How are they doing a SpongeBob promotion, but no SpongeBob like nothing like not I know, there's box. no branding. There was literally no, no Krabby Patty. I didn't no get the box. There's no sticker nothing. on that cup saying SpongeBob. Nothing. Nope, just Wendy's. So and just shout Wendy. out to the SpongeBob official Instagram channel for liking yes. my bad review of their collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you gave it a six, to be honest, because the burgers. Well, because not... like it's a burger, like burgers. Yeah, are good. burgers just a mess. Wendy's has decent burgers. All right, here's yeah. the ultimate. Here's the ultimate test. Ooh, Ooh. Yes. Ryan the Frosty. That's the move. That, let's see. Let's see how that is. This, like disintegrates the fries. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. Okay. Fine. I have to go right. and get this friggin' frosty now. Oh, this for a frosty, right? I don't know that. that this this hype. This, they overhyped it. That's a, that's that's a review. It's overhyped. Oh, totally. Like I mean, like they, totally this, right. I, I, if they, the fact you got nothing. They were like, hey, you know what? We got a we got a pineapple flavor frosty. I would have been like, oh, yeah. cool. All right. So charge it. us a, a, a how much more for the same sandwich and a, and a different flavor frosting. That's I think it. pretty much the only thing that's new for the like the burger is specifically the sauce. I think that's, that's it. That's the only thing. Oh, so yeah. the that's frosty it. is vanilla with a pineapple and mango. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, wait. This is how the new <laughs> Steve. I, I think <laughs> they didn't do yours right. So the frosty is supposed to be the vanilla pineapple flavored frosty, right? Mix. Yep. With pineapple and mango flavored puree. Yeah, that's the thing at the bottom. Swirled on top. Oh, swirled on top. Oh, yeah, they definitely oh, did, me they did me dirty. Because <laughs> I'm like, why would you put that on the bottom? So wait, you haven't even tasted the pineapple part then. I mean, I no. could taste the pineapple. Like, it's, it's, it's there's a like flavor in there. there. Yeah. I but, I mean, I'm tasting like, a lot yeah. more of the vanilla ice cream for sure. Interesting. Well, yeah, there you have it. Well done, that. Wendy's. Well yeah. done. That is, that's the saddest. This is a sad promotion. It was I'm so disappointing. Yeah. Especially, like, it's called the Krabby Patty collab. I feel like they, they mm -hmm. just did that. Mm -hmm. 
just to get people to the store, but that Where's they're like, the well, you, well, you can't, you can't use any of our characters. Oh, okay. The there is no collab. SpongeBob has. I bet you SpongeBob had no idea. They were just like, hey, wait a minute. Makes what? Wonder what the hell? Was the Canadian Wendy's I versus so. American Wendy's. In, in Panama City, they had this whole, like, activation where they, like, completely transformed a drive through There's, like, a giant SpongeBob. It's, like, bikini oh, bottom right. themed. And I'm like, ah, the Canada At least experience. just give us, like, a box. Oh, my Wait, God. Wait, is that where Steve was the whole time? Is basically is this, is, is, hey, that's where he's downtown? driving. Yeah, that's where he's <laughs> driving, probably. He's probably going to Panama City right now. <laughs> Man, I would, if I got something good. That is so sad. This is All this for a box. Um, it's nothing. It's nothing. Although I do have Krabby Patty gummies. Also got them for Halloween. Oh, I remember those. Wait, that's yeah. a thing? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, They're yes. Krabby Patties. And it's like gummy version. But like the bun is a different type of gummy. Then oh. You have the lettuce, the lettuce, which is like a green yeah. apple gummy. I cannot and the wait. the best part is, it weird? is the patty itself. It's like a fluffy, like foamy kind of like sweet oh gummy. So, okay oh my god okay. okay i'm gonna run and get i'll be back i'll be back <laughs> I, I, is it weird that i immediately thought when you said gummies that i thought it was like the special kind of gummies oh my gosh yeah. i'm sure I that exists love, i mean you're on you're on popeye yeah. sticks and everything mm -hmm. you're a different Going person now, now. You're, a, now. you're a different <laughs> person don't no, no, listen yeah. to her <laughs> i'll be back right right back to show you the gummies but continue well, I was gonna. Well, I have. To, I was gonna ask her. I get to ask, like, request a photo of her, uh, like how many treats she has left on mm. the thirty first. Because I'm gonna think mm -hmm. she has, she's, gonna, she's not gonna have anything left. She's not gonna have anything left. Uh, no, I guess we should move. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say the trick is to buy all your Halloween candy the day after. Absolutely, exactly. it's cheaper. That's this kind of price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know why you're buying it for the kids. What? They don't deserve I it. Out you got I, they got iPads into my building. <laughs> That's fine. Kids have iPads. They don't need candy. Exactly. They don't need any candy. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they, don't they expect the candy. good shit, like the, yeah. like the, the full large size bars. bars. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, the yeah. small ones as a kid, and we liked it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It so, was you know a, what? it was a treasure. It was rare we ever got a large soccer bar. We knew that they were that the family was rich because they had large soccer bars. You're like, damn, you got a bulk of full size bars. God damn. Full size. Yeah. You know. But, so. <laughs> Uh, I guess, well, I might as well just wait for her because I don't want to just move on. That oh, perfect you, timing. Uh, Camille, I'm, I'm going to make a request on uh, Thursday, October 31st. I need to see the stash of candy that you have left remaining. Oh, well, I'm going to give out to the kids. You go out, you go out the day after Halloween and get. Ooh, so you, that's cool. <laughs> you what? You basically, this candy is for you. This is not for the kids. <laughs> If you if you just see you just submit this candy's for you to be <laughs> Anyways, my my Krabby Patty for the there kids. You, there you go. Right here. Uh if you're an audio listener, well You heard a nice rustling, yeah. You, yeah. you get a good audio description before. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. that's true. Yeah, I did. I did. I try to. Thank you, Steve. Oh, oh. I appreciate that. But it is so good. Like if you find this. If you find this pack that sometimes comes in like a box, like kind of like Mike and Ike's box, if you find that, get that. Also, I'm so hopped up on sugar. I'm <laughs> sugar headaches now. <laughs> this is the month for sugar headaches. <laughs> I'm getting a rush right now. This so if you, if any if any child here. if any child sees Camille's house, expect nothing because she's gonna have no <laughs> oh, candy. Yeah. Off when my niece the yeah. lights off, yeah. Cool. I don't have any candy. I have no candy. candy. I ate it all. <laughs> See, look at it. It's so cute. That's at least pretty this, cool. This is better marketing than Wendy's. At least yeah, I have SpongeBob on there. I have a core memory of what it smells like. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. Oh I can totally God. smell it too. Like mm -hmm. I was like, I know exactly what that smell is like. Mm -hmm. It Damn. smells like sugar. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we should move on to oh, yes. uh, Ubisoft, the buyout situation. What do we all uh, think about, you know, Tencent for, uh, having an opportunity to own more of Ubisoft? Not a fan. I'm not a fan of that either. If people think Ubisoft was bad with the trans microtransactions they had before, it's going to get mm. worse. Because mm. Tencent's like the king of, like, this... Mm -hmm. Draining you, you and know, just a little <laughs> bit of Patty. everything in the industry right now, yeah. which I'm not a fan of. Oh, and I didn't realize that whole thought that the Activision Blizzard deal for Xbox was actually a pretty good idea. 
Yeah, I didn't realize like the whole like Yves and his entire family owns that much. I was like, damn, you guys own that much? I didn't even yeah, own. I'm like, you actually? Own, I thought you were just the CEO. <laughs> There's a whole stack of you guys. That's crazy. I think like Ubisoft's probably seeing like Riot Studios, Epic Games, seeing how well they're doing and being like, ah, yeah, we want that ten cent money. Because, like, the difference when they bought them is they did do well after their acquisitions. But mm. I don't like it. But it like could it be either. better for them. Oh. Yeah, I, I think it could potentially be a shift of, like, you know, the output there. It could also be a situation where Tencent's like, hey, you got some really good IPs. And let, let's, let's make a deal and let you keep doing what you're doing. And we're going to just add... A little bit of more what we do on separate uh, like separate titles um which i think would be would actually be a good move because if this buyout means more people could keep their job i think it's it's good either way well, um like, i don't know about that i, I, I don't know about that because like even out. like I, I find it really interesting that the mobile game that's coming for assassin's creed is for it's from tencent and they've been holding on that game has apparently been done mm -hmm. for a very long time and i feel like tencent's just waiting to like for Ubisoft to be like, please, all right, we're crippling here, and then they're gonna just, just like, all right, get rid of all these people and just this you game's are holding enough. that game hostage. I think they are. That game's been ready for so long, and why not? Like, if that game can make money, why not? Like, what? Do you, like, why are you holding on to it? Mm -hmm. I think they're just yeah. waiting to, to get more of a share. I mean, I don't disagree, but uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know. It's like them holding on to a game just because like they're trying to be able to get a better deal uh, for Ubisoft. I don't know. And they, they did say uh, mm. that there was a representative that did, they did come out at, like after the reports of this. They were like, well, we talk like, you know, we talk deals and stuff like that. All, we explore these kind of things all the time. Like this is just normal. The only thing that kind of pissed me off about that, about <laughs> what the like there was this, there was another statement they made that really kind of showed exactly where the shareholders and the executives Think of Ubisoft. They said, we're going to focus on our two core pillars, great open world games and games as a service. Mm. And I'm like, fuck that. You had me in, you had me in the first half. <laughs> yeah. No, Did they no. say what percentage they want of Ubisoft? I, well, they own, I think, five. They own like 10. Oh, they, own, they, own, they own a lot, actually. <laughs> Is it more now? I thought it was it's, only five. Because I, I know the gear, the gear mill, the the use oh, use yeah. family is like thirty percent. Mm. Yeah, they're the I think the largest still stakeholder. I think. Yeah. And then if you think he's gone, then someone else but his family is gonna run. He's gonna go below. That's it. Like some niece, nephew, cousin, I mean, someone's gonna run. Up the true, but of I them. think like I think problem is with Ubisoft. Kind of going back to our previous like uh, last week's episode, we're talking mm -hmm. about kind of what's going on with Ubisoft. I think, I think it really just again it, it just goes to show that Yeez has got to go. It's yeah. it, it, the the the, the problems that they've been having over the declining of the past ten years has been with Yeeves at the helm, and you know the buck got, it has to stop somewhere. And right now, it's basically like the buck is in, in, in the stock market, where the fact that they've had the lowest uh, stock price that they've had in eleven years. Mm. That is the only thing that's good, that basically sets uh, stakeholders and shareholders like that's what gets their attention. And now they've they, like now they got their attention. And I think that a pushing out of Yves is not like not a bad idea. And if Tencent is looking into having a partnership with the Guillaume family, I think that that's kind of like their subtle way of like of getting giving Yves his golden parachute and just be like, okay, yeah, no, you're gone. But his legacy is still intact. It's still intact, yeah, and it's uh, nine point two, uh, Sammy, as well. Okay, okay, yeah, just like that's a lot. <laughs> nine point two, uh, what? Uh, the shares that the, oh, the shares, yeah, yeah. yeah, that they hold. So I don't know. Like they, they even have like rumors of uh, Black Flag coming out next year as well. It's supposed to come out next year as well. Like a, oh, rem a remake, a remake of that. That's what I mean, the I take. I take Black Flag. Because if Everyone Black Flag's out, yeah, oh, yeah, Black Flag's coming to like major consoles, yeah, that'd be yep. really good. Yeah. Uh, hey, I, I mean, and they're bringing much much everything to Steam it, too. <laughs> as much as we love like making fun of it, having the Skull and Bones engine basically as part of like a Black Flag, but that gameplay in there, that Ooh, works. You're get a good game. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. 
and I think that they were, that's where they're going to be uh, venturing off to like multiplayer as well mm-hmm. with, uh, with with black with uh, black flag and like they had like a whole, they have like a whole Assassin's Creed thing hap- happening with like black flag multiplayer mode on another game and like there's gonna be so many you're gonna be tired of Assassin's Creed like there's gonna be so much of it at this point so. it's their cash cow yeah, yeah. And but then like what, it into as much as it keeps giving them money but then like what will happen to like like, will we ever see like another like Lost Crown project, or it's just like, nope, we can't take the risk on that anymore. My tears situation. for Child of Light too. You know, mm. never I, you and my friend, you can't, even say, you can't even say those words around them. They're like, what? <sighs> what child? I just want Beyond Good and Evil. That's all. I that too. Good luck, Kabil. I don't know where, where that game is, to be honest. I just want it. I don't even hear Gordon Levin's basement. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Like you don't even hear wind of that game. Like you hear Black Flag before this game. I heard that game before. <laughs> we <laughs> like, heard of a Prince of Persia <laughs> Sands of Time remake before we yeah, heard of about a good, like, Beyond Good and Evil 2. Where is that game? I don't know. Beyond Good and Evil 2. We heard of a Splinter Cell remake before we remake. heard about a, a yeah. Beyond Good and Evil 2. We even heard that, of a 20th anniversary of Beyond Good and Evil and we still didn't hear anything about Beyond Good and Evil 2. That's true. They're going to remake Asphalt before we hear anything about... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Gosh. That's oh a pull. God. That's a pull right there. <laughs> uh, damn. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that game. That's You just don't hear anything about it. And, like, I mean, like, a whisper or people are like, oh, rumor has it. Like, I've, I've seen, like, no, no rumors. Like, then someone's... On someone's computer in a folder or something like that, you know? I don't know. <laughs> They're like, oh crap, I forgot to submit this. Yeah, oh, wait, we didn't, oh, I, I didn't upload this to the server. My bad. Yeah, and they, uh, and they, they open it up and, and on, on holidays and be like, remember when? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, I kind of want to know your opinion. Do you guys think that we are now in a space where people are going to just kind of stop trying to get creative with IPs because they see what happens to new IP and they're just going to give us the same old thing over and over every year? Because they know it sells. Like just the general people, or like, or like the like the bigger studios. I mean, I think the bigger studios, because like obviously you know Concord and like all these other games that aren't performing at the level that they thought they were going to perform. Is that do you think that's going to discourage now all these like AAA, AA studios from trying something new? Mm. I think for the for the short term, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think for the long term. Yeah. I feel like with like, sorry, go ahead, Camille. No, 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 you go, you go. No, I was gonna say like, I feel like with like bigger companies, even like their AAA games are not hitting that that much, and I and I feel like a lot of people are catching on to that. Like, like these are like before I used to like see like a EA like low like like even like the logos pop up, be like, holy crap, I'm gonna be in for the experience. And we don't even get that mm-hmm. anymore these days. Now I'm like, oh, this game is not that good, or this game's not even finished. Like, like it's still like needed time in the oven, like. Before mm-hmm. we see like Ubisoft or like a Blizzard logo or like I said EA logo, you're like I'm in for like a grand time. Like I know this could be a great experience, and now you don't even get that anymore. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's also because we are the generation that um, is making money, like you know that has money to pour into this. We are the generation of nostalgia and keeping nostalgia for so long because of social media and everything else we're able to connect with um, and look up things. Mm -hmm. I don't see us like going away from like new, like uh, older IPs and trying to like, I could see developers wanting to do that. I don't see the executives wanting to push for that. Um, I think, you know, probably like give it five, years or so five eight years and then we could start to see that shifts because we're seeing like especially with um on the streaming side of things with pc games we see how successful new ips can be mm-hmm. it's just that the amount of money those ips are making unless they're like a big hit um you know it it doesn't really like it can't keep a studio running that has like you know thousands of people working for it right for for that long right Um, and that is the structures of some of these major studios um that rely on these big ips to come out year after year to help keep the lights on yeah i don't yeah i don't know it's it's getting tough like i would love like another phoenix rising game but then they're like uh we're not that that got shut down they were working on one 
And that game was that game was awesome. That game was yeah. so cool. I really like the 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 writing was great. The comedy, oh my god, uh, the comedy was great. Comedy is absolutely amazing. And like yeah. it just like yes, I know it came out during Cyberpunk, but hey, that game worked when <laughs> that game worked <laughs> instead of Cyberpunk. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, it was, I that was like my game of the year. Cause I just had such a great time with it. I did everything with that game and. I don't know. We just and like the same thing with like Lost Crown. That's another great game. But I feel like is they're gonna be like, oh, it's not making as much. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they're it's because they set their expectations way too high, or something. Like, I don't even know I how much. Lost now Crown the new standard is, is anytime you have a bad launch, just make a really good animated Netflix series and it'll relaunch <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. your whole game. That's all you have to do. They yeah. said they need like a Prince of Persia show, thirtieth <laughs> anniversary. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Yeah. I kind of just had this realization. It seems as if that internally at Ubisoft, there is a bit of a struggle going on. You have the larger IPs that are trying to be bigger and better than than they used than, than the previous one, like your Assassin's Creed, your Far Cry, your Avatars, your Star Wars. And then there are the smaller studios that are trying to be able to put like make really fun interesting ideas interesting games that some hit some don't prince persia lost crown a hit roller champions not so much but it was it, like it, it, it seems as if that ubisoft's identity right now is kind Very of in confusing. flux yeah, it, yeah. It, exactly it's a hundred percent confusing because like on the surface, they're the Assassin's Creed studio, but they are more than that. And I mean, they have literally an entire like like streaming platform for their games to prove it because of just the amount of games that they've put out. But if you look at the games that they released this year, does anyone remember that X Defiant came out this year already? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I still play it. <laughs> I still play. I love that game. I prefer but that I over COD like, right now. To be honest, a couple years ago, like no one plays that anymore. Yeah, that, that one's dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that one, that Is anyone dead. still playing Avatar? Even though they're saying they're putting out content for it, like it, it's it's it, it's kind of in this internal struggle. Yeah. And and I think it's being sp- like their talent is being spread so thin across so many different studios that it kind of needs it. it, it Ubisoft right now needs a bit of a shakeup, and I know that that on the surface that means that. Potentially, there could be layoffs, potentially studio closures, and I hate that, and I don't want to see that happen. But I think, I mean, what really, again, what it really comes down to is I think leadership is what is ruining Ubisoft right now because they're the ones making the decision. Because I could guarantee that there are probably a lot, there's a lot of projects that have been in incubation for so long at Ubisoft, like Beyond Good and Evil 2, that it, it basically higher-ups are like, nah, we're not, we're not ready for that yet. We're going to put out NFTs and Ghost of Recon, the game that no one really plays right now. So I think it's just, I think it's just, it needs to shake up in leadership that I hope yeah. can be able to like set the, sh- the ship right. Cause I want, I want the Ubisoft back when they were trying to fight off the hostile takeover from Vivendi. And they were like, we're going to change the reputation of Ubisoft and make it better again. And they did. Mm-hmm. And now they're sliding back into that old, like, uh, where they were like at that point. And they need another shakeup and soon. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, hopefully this is this is it right here. Like the whole ten cent thing is obviously just not it's not rumors or anything. It's just like options to look at. Doesn't mean it's gonna be happening. Everything like that. So and ho- maybe this is just like this the little uh, the 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 scare that they need to be like. All right, we gotta get our acts together. So we'll see. Um, I guess our final topic here. So many goddamn games are out. Silent Hill Two, Camille's favorite metaphor. Have you tried demo yet? I have tried the demo. It's really good. It's like what ten hours the demo? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. The demo? But, I mean, the demo's sense. long. The demo, like, yeah, ten hours. I <laughs> think or something. Like yeah. Sense for like when you you know persona type games, yeah. how many hours you're putting into it? And a transfer and over, just like in case. Good, really yeah, know. and yeah. that's like a good quality uh, demo. Like that to me, it's like worth it. Like yeah. see, you're you're that's like a real definition of a demo. Like you know, for a game that's so long as metaphor is. It's like you should have like a 80 hours, nice right? <laughs> demo in order to understand if this game's right for you. That's what demos are supposed to do. Like mm-hmm. it's, it is a marketing feature for games, but it's not just like buy it. 
it's more of like, okay, is this game right for you? And I respect yeah. I respect that they did that. And it, it's fun. Like, it's really fun. I have to finish Echoes before I hop into the game, like, because it is yeah. such a time commitment. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited, too. I have, yeah. like, people that uh, my friend Janet, Janet Garcia, she mm-hmm. was saying how um, it is better than Final Fantasy Rebirth. Oh, I did see her say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Damn. to that, I said, but why? <laughs> because I'm a huge Final Fantasy Rebirth fan. <laughs> I think, and you know, I'm going to probably pull, when I play Metaphor, I'll get a better idea. But I think it's because Rebirth, you really need the backstory to understand what's happening. So like the story, if you're playing Rebirth for story, I feel like Rebirth may not deliver that much because there's a lot of like mystery happening and it's mid story it's not completing or starting the story so it's like a weird one to just jump into if you've never played a final fantasy 7 game before or know anything about like the first game um remake mm. um and metaphor it's like a full fleshed out story from start but, to yeah from what i've from what i've heard it's like final fantasy 7 rebirth is like a good 15 hour game in a 40 hour game whereas metaphor is a great 75 to 80 hour game inside of a hundred hour game. And I'm like, okay. Like if, if you, cause that's the thing that scares me too. Like I've never played a persona game. I've never, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've been interested in it, but I never know which is the right one to get or get to get into. I keep hearing, Oh yeah. Persona three reloads a good spot, but also persona four or persona five Royal. It's like, I, I just so give many. me something that I can, it's a good, <laughs> like persona for a newbie a to yeah. jump into. You could jump into any of them. Mm-hmm. That's what. Really see, that's the thing I'm upset about because they're like, all different. I don't know which one yeah. to choose? But Persona you know, Five, I think, is a really good. Um, I wouldn't want a lot of folks over. Yeah. Yeah, I think like that's a good one to like win you over, um, or like to show everything that the Persona franchise has to offer without sure. going too deep, where you may feel like, oh, this is not. But but on the other side of that, that was what like the that's what made me interested in metaphor was because it's a brand new ip yeah. brand new story but has the best of the persona series in this yeah. as far as gameplay yeah. so i have the demo i'm gonna try it mm-hmm. uh and i'm gonna i'm gonna see how i am and then maybe i mean i'm glad that at least you can be able to get your progress saved over if you buy the full game which yeah. Yeah. that i'm happy about and so by the way but if you play it say... on yeah go ahead I was, I was gonna say if you play on the xbox it's it's not on Game Pass, but if you get on Xbox, you do get to play it on PC. For like the play anywhere features there. Oh, see, I got yeah. I got the demo on Steam because yeah. I thought maybe because because uh, I thought I could be able to do like the the Steam Deck sort of like. Um, yeah, yeah. I just mean for like anyone who picks up an Xbox, they they have the play anywhere feature. So hmm. right, right, right. I will say yeah. like early reviews right now on Metacritic. This game ninety four, ninety four, so wait, ninety four. Yeah beats what? out rebirth right now obviously there's only like 35 reviews right now but yeah but i mean but they're like, all for the honestly, big folks yeah no one's yeah. done finished playing it yeah <laughs> so, well, well, so no one's there. There. But honestly like it, it's just like such a cap like when i got to play at summer game fest like it mm-hmm. was just so captivating like i didn't want to leave my seat and like you could replay the demo um like that they had at summer game fest Mm-hmm. Like there's different, there were different battles that you could go into, and I still want like after I played the three scenarios, like I want to go back and like replay all really? the scenarios again, just because just how you go about it, like it, it's, and th- and that's the thing about their games, and I would say even if you go into Metaphor and you try this demo, Steve, and you're like, worst case, it's not for me. Um, I feel like you may like it because of the fantasy. Still try Persona because even though Metaphor has like. The persona esqueness of it it's very persona in how it plays and like the vibe because persona is a like modern storytelling mm-hmm. it's like just very refreshing and like jazzy and like yeah it, it's cool. okay it's cool yeah okay um but yeah i mean i'm excited but still uh, there than really yeah yeah you you could be a little little biased but I could be yeah a little biased. yeah but also yeah Rebirth's amazing. Well, I just want like who's going in playing Final Fantasy VII and just jumping into Rebirth? Some people do though because that's, like they, they just haven't played and they do do a like a little recap thing. 
Yeah. True, yeah. So it's kind of like if you if you don't want to play like the first little bit of Final Fantasy VII, you play like it from the original one. I can see people jumping into Rebirth yeah. being like, okay, yeah, this is this is the part where, I, where I'm interested in. And I think, like, Remake was more that game. Like, even if you didn't play the old Final Fantasy, like, you could jump into because it's starting that story. It's very yeah. story heavy. This portion that Re Rebirth takes place in, it's the, like, explore the world. Lots of side quests. Lots of, like, fun, silly things to do. Not a lot of story part. Yeah. So, mm. like, that's really hard to win people over that aren't too familiar with the story or can't remember what happened from, like, way back when. Because it won't make sense. So um, that is what so, I'm afraid of if I jump into to, to metaphor is that I'm going to play it for a while, I'm going to stop, and then I forget everything that happened, and I'm going to have to, I'm gonna, like, I potentially might have to force myself to restart or try to pick up where I left off and... and that's the biggest like that's the biggest worry I have with these kind of like long form kind of games yeah. is, is the time oh. sink that I might lose. You that you know may what? happen because it happened to me twice, maybe three times in Persona Five, <laughs> where I was like, "Yo, what happened?" And I was like eighty hours in. That's so the, the second time it happened. I'm like, yeah. what that's like happened? a Xenoverse game as and well, then though. I was just oh. like, I didn't go back and yeah. start over, but like I had to like remember what I was trying to do and like go through the stations and try to remember the exit and who I was gonna keep. So like for three, four hours, I was doing nothing, but okay. I was doing a lot. If that makes sense. Yeah. Well, listen, if, if we're all gonna play Hell Is Us, this is a feeling we're gonna have to get used well, to. Oh but yeah, I was about you to gotta get that notepad out. <laughs> but I was also gonna to mention Silent Hill 2 this is my first time playing a Silent Hill game actually mm -hmm. that does the same thing as well there's no like oh where am I supposed to go like he would like circle the map like but like being like if you investigate the area he'll be like oh I had to go to like this I had to go to the hotel but he'll just he doesn't even tell you like oh let me go check out the hotel he just circles it and that's it like everything else you gotta figure out there's no like objective being like yeah. oh make sure to go Go to this. Go pick up the record at the at the bar, or like go go like go investigate the bars, man. There's nothing there, and like there were times I'm like, where the hell am I supposed to go in this damn game? And then there's people just slithering around the damn floor and breathing behind your neck, and I'm like, there's fog everywhere, and I'm like, what is happening in this game? And like like I, where where am I going? Like you know, so like I even Silent Hill guys. two is doing the same thing as well, but I'm, I'm I I am really liking it because it does put you in that environment. Like you're just like. You actually feel like the character you're playing. You're just like you're there, and like you're like where like you're just wondering where am I like where am I in this world right now? So yeah, I'm I'm that's like I heard it's got lots of like a lot of accessibility uh, in it as well that I'm I'm curious to try out. Uh, but I'm yeah, also there's like uh, uh, I was about to mention they have like different <laughs> like sorry. Uh, <laughs> there's also like there's a lot of uh, oh my god like they the color shading mode. Yeah. Like they will highlight like they there there is a lot I will oh, say. Oh, there's a high I contrast mode. Yeah, high con yeah, I would love to see you like actually Ooh. dive into that game to see <sighty> I'm a big options in there. Oh, like I'm just <laughs> just good. Yeah. Do I want Okay, well, cuz here's the thing. It's like I don't have a review code of it. Uh mm -hmm. like is it still that $90 uh like no, you get the regular the version. Buy? It's out now, no. It's out. out it is now. out now. Which which is better? Yeah. What are you playing it on, uh Marcel? PC. You're playing on Steam? Uh, no, PC. Yeah, Steam, PC. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me let me yeah. just let me just see where it's at right now because I saw like yeah the regular yeah. edition was available, but they were like pay like ninety three dollars for like the deluxe. I'm like, but no. <laughs> the, 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 right now, if you get the deluxe, it's just it was it was to give you like three days early, and then you get like the soundtrack. Oh, and... okay. So it is ninety three dollars. That's the regular price for it. Yeah, that's uh, regular. Yeah, ninety three yeah, Canadian. Yeah. yeah. And I just I just bought. I just bought Guilty Gear for th for ninety three bucks. Guilty <laughs> Gear. Yeah. Yeah. Over <laughs> groceries like three hundred bajillion dollars a month. It's just like, mm, what game do I decide? You don't need to eat. Yeah. It is yeah, it is like, it is not a Krabby Patty. Just yeah, like. I was gonna say I could I, I could have saved money that way. I, oh shoot! I can... Dang that pineapple frosting. I mean, I yeah. have a I might have a link for you that you could get the game for eighty bucks for, for Steam. Ooh, wait, what? Oh really? What if you want, if you want, yeah, okay, yeah, I can, I can slide it in there. I can slide it up to you. Just saying, you know. I will take tw I'll take I'll take tw uh, twenty bucks or no ten bucks I off, can, thirteen bucks uh, off, whatever. That's I get one lettuce, if, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> What are you holding I back for? I, 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 I just said. 
can't hide it. It's, just, it's, it's, it's affiliate have? link with me, but you know, you get 15% oh. off. Oh, okay. You know? All right. Well, you know, then, you yeah. get 15% off. You know, I'm just okay. letting, just throwing it out there, you know, if you want it. Drop it. Is there yeah, anything worth getting the deluxe edition? Like, what's in it? For, like that? It's honestly like uh, the like you get it, you can see that it will show you the difference there. But you get like the soundtrack, art book, and like a skin for your character. You get the pyramid. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I guess the, the the main the main thing is that you yeah. get forty uh, early access. And, which and the is forty, yeah, yeah, exactly. And even so. for that, that was at like. 80 that was like at 83 dollars or, or or whatever the price was but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but uh okay. but yeah no yeah you get you get the, it, gives, it gives you the steam link and then this this site that i used there i've been using them for years so i, I, I swear i still there. didn't see you drop it I didn't yet. I was, I'm still talking. What do you mean? <laughs> Stop talking and drop the link. All right, fine. It's it's weird that I look at the recommended system specs and it like now my like my graphics card is like the next version below like uh the, the recommended specs is the, the next version below what my current graphics start card is and I'm like uh, oh no, does that mean I'm going to need to upgrade my PC soon? <laughs> 50 series is coming out in January. 50 series coming in January. They're gonna announce that. No, I'm I'm Team Red. I'm going. uh, Oh, that's right. That's right. The AMD. Honestly, though, Steve, I feel that. Like (laughs) I saw some like games, and I'm like looking at the specs, and I'm like, what? What For me, it's the processing. Uh, the CPU I need. That I that I need. Yeah, yeah, I'm like you. 10 gen. They're like they're 14 on my on my end. What? You're a what? 10 what? 10 the processing for Intel. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And 10 gen, 10 gen. But okay. they're on 14. And then 14 had a problem. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna wait until they fix that up. So I don't even know what what processor I have. Hold on, let me double check. <laughs> but uh, do that research. Also, Dragon Ball is out. Fantastic, yes. loving it. It looks it's just so- like the goddamn anime. And like the game is just like the old school way of like how like the Wii U days were, the PS2 days were. They even have those same controls as well. And the animation looks like I feel like it's a kid again. This is just it's truly amazing, honestly. And this seeing like the super sagas, like the Dragon Ball Super Sagas in there for the first time is pretty neat as well. Because they didn't explore those stories, but those stories even exist when they had like the series back then. So yeah, like yeah. I, that's another game. I like, I need to finish echoes. of Wizards. Same promo, same having, promo code will work. Having a blast. I got a link on that too. <laughs> but, like, honestly, oh my God. So, got all the links. So many great games right now. And like Dragon Ball, honestly, sparking zero. Ooh, so it's good. So good. And it's just getting like, I'm loving this resurgence of hype for Dragon Ball right now with Daima, like on the way. And it's like, yeah. On Netflix. Um, you also get like, the Daima so skin cool. in the game, by the way. He's in the game. He's in the. That. He's in the game. Like he's like, his own character. Because we played Marcel uh, at Summer Game Fest. Summer Game Fest, and like, yeah. I... And Daima wasn't even a thing then. And then they're like, "Yeah, here's the character." I'm like, "What?" Yeah. Wow. They tried to show me time. how to play that game too. I, I remember that. I knew how to play. I, knew I, just, I like the like Camille didn't even have a meeting and she's getting like all the developers up. <laughs> I'm like, what the <laughs> is that your meeting? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're like, oh, do you not know how to play? I'm like, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I know what I'm doing. The game and then he's like, oh, really? And then I showed him and he's like, oh, okay, never mind. All right, moving on to the next person. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, yeah. Also, um, poor Horizon. They have the worst luck because uh, even though their remaster is coming out. Oh. Red yeah. Dead's coming out the same day on yeah. PC. <laughs> well, no, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's same. Listen, I've been waiting for Red Dead on PC. Yeah. So. That's same. That and also I've never played Undead uh, Nightmare. So I am re- like Red Dead is like my favorite one of my favorite games of all time. And playing on PC remastered, I'm like, yeah, I kind of want it. I was gonna get it for the Switch, and I'm like, it's not the, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just wait, Sammy. And I'm so glad I'm waited. There you go. There you have it. Um, yeah, all those games are out like this week, which is insane. The following week is Life for Dead. Uh, not Life for Dead. <laughs> Life for Dead. Life is Strange. Why is it Life for Dead? <laughs> Life is I Strange. Can't double mess up. Life is Strange. Life is Strange. Re- <laughs> double exposure. Max is back and everything. Oh. You know, Chloe is gone. Thank God. You know. You know. That's oh, right. I said it. God. I got. I, I got sick of. What Chloe do to you? <laughs> 
I the yeah. amount of times I try to save Chloe and I'm like, you know what, girl, I'm You're done. like that's <laughs> it. <laughs> this is it for I you. Tried. I tried. This is the eighth time. I can't do this anymore. I, I'm I'm getting nosebleeds. I'm dying myself. <laughs> I can't I can't keep you alive anymore. I'm, I'm dying. Oh, so I can't keep returning back time. Forget it. So, but no, I, I'm excited to see uh, how that game is. Like, there's just so many. Like, October is nuts, and you know what? It's a good thing Assassin's Creed is delayed because I need November to help me out. I'm mean, like, <laughs> gonna be That's a true. very interesting month for yeah. sure. Yeah, November is just flight simulator for me. I'm happy, but that every besides that, I'm just you know, I need yeah, I need my flight simulator. I need to fly around, pretend I'm going somewhere nice, going to Iceland, like like some like on you know the one that over there, that one Popeye stick. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Honestly, sure. I'm getting from all these Popeye sticks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's the sugar rush. Yeah, what do you mean? I'm on the uh, down now. I'm crashing. You're crashing. I see you like slouching. Like, all right, guys. <laughs> Was there anything else that, like, any other games you guys excited for this uh, that's coming out or anything? Like, did I, did I miss anything? I mean, Dragon Age. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Christ. a big one. That, that is a, is big, a big one. one. It was never. That's, like, and that's end of the but... month, and then Call of Duty is another one, oh, and. Man. Yeah, but like this week alone is like this is a crazy week of games. Like that's this is insane. And the metaphor asking for eighty hours out of my life right now. I don't know, dude. I know that. So that's the thing. I'm kind of like, and then I've got a bunch of travel coming up again this month. It's just yeah. like, when am I gonna find the time? Yeah. yeah. Unknown, unknown nine awakening as well. It's coming out. That's a, oh a never- right, that one. Yeah. Oh, that was coming out. Yeah, and it's... Neva. Can't forget about Neva. The single make Gris. Yeah, that's true. That comes yeah. out in seven days. Um, Fear the Spotlight that's comes so out in 14 soon. days. Like, I need to play all these games before November. Can't forget about, can't forget <laughs> about Sonic as well. Brothership, right? Coming out 7th of November. November. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it's... man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon I, I don't even know how long Dragon Age is going to be either, so... Mm. I don't know if I'm going to play Dragon Age. I feel like Dragon Age is going to be one where I have to play like around Christmas time or something, you know? Something. Like when it's like just loafing at home, not nothing to do. I can't even play this on stream. I just had to be like, sorry, guys, this is a YouTube exclusive, like upload later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I can't I can handle these games. Yeah, the only uh, trouble I'm having nowadays is when I do want to play a game, I'm like, damn, I should stream this. But I'm like, no, I kind of I just want to play. Yeah. yeah, I don't want well, to stream that's it. The, that's the thing that I, I just had, record like, sometimes. A weird really well, I, yeah, I record my games, but I had a re- weird, really weird relationship with streaming um, mm-hmm. after the pandemic, where I was like, I felt like I had to stream, and then it just got mm-hmm. where it was like w- wasn't enjoyable. But just something hit where, and it leave it to a Zelda game to bring me back, where I was just like, I'm gonna stream this and like also record my content and like just have fun. And I've been loving every minute. I've also discovered there's a sandwich conspiracy in Hyrule. Um, I can talk oh. more about that later. But... <laughs> what? Uh, there's a sandwich conspiracy in Hyrule. Um, huh. So okay. in Hyrule Castle Town. <laughs> is this like a oh, daily? God, this go. is a daily news like the Hy- Hyrule's Google. I'm here. <laughs> 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 I'm here with the Hyrule Herald. <laughs> the sandwiches in Hyrule Castle. No, the sandwiches, all right? In every house in Hyrule Castle Town, they have the same, they have like multiple ingredients, like you'll see in baskets. But for mm-hmm. some reason, on the tables, what they're all eating is the same type of sandwich. Like it's the same type of sandwich. I don't know if it's a Hyrule special. But it's lettuce. I think it's tomato. There may be a little meat in there and a baguette. Pretty. It looks like pretty hard bread. Hmm. Everyone in Hyrule is eating this. Has me wondering what they're doing with the other ingredients. Just thinking. Hmm. And that's the huh. latest from the Hyrule Hyrule. <laughs> there you go. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, do you think Nintendo Land's gonna make like a Hyrule sandwich then? they be like, here they you should. go. They should. There's something going on with those sandwiches. There's also lots of cats. And yeah, there's a lot of cats in this game. Something in the, the Zelda game, but there's a reason for that. Yeah. There's a reason for that yeah. though. So. Yeah. Spoilers. 
I don't, I don't, I didn't say anything. So, uh, besides <laughs> that, Steve, uh, what's going on for you the rest of the week? <laughs> uh, well, I uh, it looks like that I'm going to be uh, playing some Silent Hill two because uh, I just uh, using your special code. I uh, hell I, yeah, I just bought it. Uh, how how so much was it actually? Because it I... was it was eighty two. Okay, it came out to eighty two. Right. So basically, it took All twenty. Right. It took twenty bucks off, but then with taxes, it added an extra ten. So basically, it was like ten bucks off. All right, there you go. Hell yeah, happy to help. Happy to Thank help. you, I uh, appreciate it. So yeah, I'm no, trying. I'm really, I'm really want to see your thoughts on the accessibility because like it, it, there was a, there was quite a lot of options. Bloomberg really did a really, the Bloomberg, Blo- Bloomberg. Uh, I saw <laughs> it on, a lot of it on game uh, on uh, Gamespot uh, yeah. myself, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm very curious to try it out. Uh, I, I'm gonna try to be able to play some metaphor. Uh, we'll see what happens. But also, actually, as of this episode uh, coming, as far as things are coming up for me uh tonight as of when this episode is aired uh mm-hmm. i am uh, starting up a brand new series on for dungeons and disables uh it is called welcome to haven's rest okay. it is a uh uh basically a series of seven mini shots is what i'm calling them so they are uh one-on-one um stories the set in dnd myself as a dm and a player and it's basically a whole story from beginning to end in less than an hour and uh, they're all set in this one town called Haven's Rest. And uh, for the next seven weeks, we're going to be doing uh, that every every Wednesday. Uh, and these were all recorded live in person at TwitchCon. Uh, oh, so, hell yeah. I've yeah. actually seen, I may have seen you guys do so, that. So, yeah, yeah, we had, uh, <laughs> so the cast that we have right now, um, uh, they're all Twitch streamers. So we have Thormagander, uh, we have Ellie Joy Panic, we have El Bell, uh, Mike the Quad, uh, Ashlina and M-, M Montgomery, aka Nega Oryx, uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's yeah, that's seven. Yeah, that's the whole cast. So um, all like that. We've got a few like we got a few Unity Guild leaders in there. We got a few ambassadors. Oh, Meg Kaylee, sorry, is one of them as well. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, gonna be a gonna be a good time. So the first episode premieres uh, tonight at uh, seven p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'll be streaming it live as a watch party on my channel, uh, Twitch oh, yeah. slash Steve Sailor. Uh, but it'll be going up everywhere, uh, podcast services, and on our YouTube channel uh, for Dungeons and Disables. So uh, check that out. Cool, cool. Hell yeah! I did. Super excited. Yeah, I definitely saw that uh, being recorded live, and it was it was really it was exciting to see. So I'm excited yeah, to see yeah. the yeah. turnout of it. Yeah. Scammy, cool. what about you? Uh, Any spooky games again. for you? I mean, I definitely want to hop on the Silent Hill 2 train, so I'm going to try to find time for that. I will be in the U.S. this weekend, so doing a lot of driving back and forth. And then You're going to the U.S. during Thanksgiving? Our Thanksgiving. So I'm I'm leaving Thursday morning, and I'm driving back the Sunday, so that way I could be home for the Monday. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, fair, yeah, enough. Yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. Because I have to pick up my husband, and then he'll be here to experience a Canadian Thanksgiving. And then oh, he'll be really nice! That it's a month early. So that's oh, fine. I, but here's really the thing: like to question why we have Thanksgiving. It's yeah. like, okay, not it, it, Here's the thing: what they should, they should <laughs> question is why aren't why isn't our Thanksgiving in October like the Canadians do? Because think about it: the Can U.S. Okay, they got Thanksgiving, then they have Black Friday. And then, literally, less than a month later, they have they have Christmas, it's and then also too condensed. Yeah, it's too condensed. Also, it's two really huge holidays it? in the span yeah. of a month. Also, mm-hmm. do they really want the history of what their Thanksgiving's about? You know? Exactly. It's like just exactly. ours is about the harvest. It's a harvest yep. festival. Yep. It's that's the time farmers harvested. Things. Yep. There's now we are not necessarily yeah. the best, you know, still uh, know. examples yes. of but the I mean, uh, of First gonna, Nations, if but. You, if uh, you have if you have one holiday a year that really is standing for something that is not great, just switch it. Just switch yeah. it, America. Yeah, yeah. I will wear my orange sweater during that day. So mm-hmm. you, just you know, I'll, you gotta give and take a little bit. You yes. know. You know yeah. what's you know what's funny is that I I, I pictured this orange sweater. It's not like that. It, it's like a full on like turtleneck, like Velma, and like. Wait, let me. It, let me... I'll, I'll find it. Hold okay. On. okay. I can like because if so, I would love to see you as a Velma for for Halloween. That'd be oh I think God. that'd be pretty dope. That'd be so good. 
I think Sammy could really do a good Velma. Yeah, hundred percent. I've it's always been like on my list of things to maybe do, but <gasps> this is my my this... little. Oh, oh cool! cool. Yes. Well, it's this. dope. Every child matters. Yeah. So yeah, backstory: my that. mom works for the government, and she's in the union. So the like every kind of Canadian issue, we're we're always involved. That's nice. Amazing. <laughs> Very That's cool. amazing. Also, thinking of that, because we were talking about Velma cosplay for Halloween, um, which I think you should absolutely do. I feel like that would be perfect for you, Sammy. Should we do like a... Should should we do like a Halloween... Should we, yes. You said we should dress up? Yes. Should we do like a theme? We should do a Halloween theme for our like l- last episode of the... The 29th. The 29th, so we, yeah. I think we recorded on the 30th or something. It comes out Halloween day. I think that we a record I idea. don't think I can actually be able to make it. So we record on the Tuesday, like the ha- like normal time, and it just mm-hmm. comes out on Halloween, and we dress up. Yeah, true. Or we play a scary yeah. game as well. I'm down. Ooh, that could be interesting. Guys, that, yeah, we can see. We yeah. play a game. We could try. Try to get everyone I mean, together. Yeah. We could try. There's no. I mean, there's nothing to say we can't do it sometime this so month. We can't do it. Yeah. Time to do it because it's yeah, you know it's spooky month. Sometime. Yeah, yeah. Some time this month, just not next week. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm when this week, oh, or the following Maybe. week, <laughs> or the week <laughs> after that, <laughs> or the week after the that, or the week after that. Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna have to figure this out. Okay. But I mean, let's just say this: out. I'm I'm traveling for 22 days out of this month. I think. Um. So. Damn. Yeah. Well, yeah. Will you have your I mean, pussy? <laughs> maybe we'll just maybe we'll just dress up. <laughs> yeah, or we yeah, could maybe. do an Among Us. Oh, okay. Now we're you talking. Can play that. You can play that on mobile. Yeah, yeah, you sure, sure. That that's true. I mean, if it lines up where it basically like I've got nothing to do and I'm in a hotel room or whatever, I can I can make it happen. I'd be willing to make yeah, that happen. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, wait. Did you say what you're doing already, Camille? Oh. No. What are you doing, Camille? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. That's why you go to like. Okay. Are you gonna do like the? Isn't like a black lagoon? I the can't blue remember. Lagoon. The, the blue, blue lagoon. lagoon. That's what I'm, do- I'm doing. That on the first day. Hell I'm yeah. Do are, you, are you gonna experience Hellblade too? Probably not. I hope not. I hope not. I yeah. Hope, I hope. <laughs> I hope not. I don't what do you mean? Like what's, what's wrong with Hellblade too? What do you mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone dreams of that when they're going on vacation. That yeah. Scenario. Yeah. Why do you think they took people yeah, there? The thing, it's got a great, <laughs> it's got a great looking uh, uh, landscape of uh, Iceland. You could be able to be like, okay, I've been there, I've been there. I got mm-hmm. killed here. I had a monster basically <laughs> attack me over there. Almost uh, drowned over here. You know, I solved thing, a puzzle yeah. to enter in this really creepy uh, portal over here. That is uh, true. That is true. Mm-hmm. I could, I could do a whole IRL tour of my playthrough of help. You totally could. Yeah, right Actually, you know, I wonder if that's something that has been ever been done before. Hmm. Like a play, like a let's play at a location that the game that a game has ever been like sort of set in. Like yeah. imagine like doing si- like playing Silent Hill two in like a creepy old town that like uh in, like actually no that, that, that that's a that's what idea. you're that's what you and Steve are doing so yeah true basically. yeah we are doing <laughs> yeah yeah we're not playing video games we're playing D D so yeah, yeah. We're playing real life and something yeah, I mean, something D's real life my back. friend yeah. I'm just saying yeah. <laughs> something's coming back. Like, no, no. If it does, I'm gonna disown my podcast. best friend. They can't. Be on the <laughs> Camille doesn't want you guys. On. She's like, you I guys be... can't be on at the podcast. Ben. If you're here, <laughs> she's gone. You, yeah, you're Watch. either here when I'm not here, or you miss a week and give the ghost time to not come on. And then transfer. I like well, the fact you can't back, play so Silent like, Hill, but you were willing to go on a ghost trip. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Things work wild in Steve's world. Yeah. Hey, because I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Uh, I got roped into it. Uh, let's just say that. Uh, it was basically peer pressure. Uh, I'll, I'll cop to that. It was 100%. I was do- we, we, were, we, were, we were having fun. We were playing D&D. And then my entire cast was like, they want to go on a ghost hunt. And I was like, this is how well, every I know movie a guy. Starts. And then that's how it started. So oh, uh, every movie I know starts. Guy. He knows the guy. He yeah, because yeah. also guy. one of my friends is like trying to convince me to stay over in that in that place because uh, they also have rooms you can stay like you can rent out, uh, which I'm like, why not? 
Yeah, why not? As long as it doesn't end up with me saying it happened to a friend of a friend of mine, I think you're all good. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I better not bring back anything. I swear. <laughs> I know, and you like you're like take I some protection. Anywhere, oh yeah, I yeah. Am. We we like the good thing is uh, my friend, uh, my best friend T. Like he has like he has the sage. There's like si the rituals that he does to kind of talismans, keep little talismans. things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like we're and we're also very respectful. We're not going to be antagonizing the ghosts either. When you um, leave, you have to look at the door when you're leaving. That's superstition. Like you have to walk out. Is that really a thing? Of the house, looking at the house so the ghost oh. cannot follow you because like, i didn't do that the last time i went on a ghost hunt oh steve well it's over but that was also been, like uh, two years been, ago so i and think there's fine. probably been unexpected things not that i noticed but then again i'm blind so i don't know if i would ever <laughs> notice <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were, you just logged off randomly, so the other ghost might be jealous. That was, that was that me, was man. 90s, the other well, ghost might be jealous, yeah. though, being like, you're going to see another ghost, you're cheating on me? Uh, oh, get yeah, maybe <laughs> stir up some things. Stir up some, you know, a little, a little That's ghost the case. triangle. I've been disappointing this ghost for over a year now, because <laughs> I haven't paid any attention to anything that's been whatever it's been trying to do. I thought it was your only ghost, forget <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, with that being said, I'm going to be playing more Dragon Ball, and uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me, joining all of us for, uh, for another episode of a Gaming Podcast, and we'll see you here uh, next week. All right? Bye!